directly connected to the sleep wake cycle but it has also uh, insect plant interactions in it uh, moving on to my story of my story of how i got caterpillar on uh, feeding on phyllanthus plant i was also growing these phyllanthus plant in my home lab uh, to study the sleep wake cycle of it and uh, i was having two species of phyllanthus plant that is phyllanthus amarus and phyllanthus uh, urinaria so uh, once uh, in in august i got to see uh, a caterpillar feeding on phyllanthus leaves phyllanthus amarus leaves and that was very surprising because i haven't seen uh, haven't seen any uh, any caterpillar or uh, any moth laying eggs on phyllanthus plant so it was very new to me that time i started culturing this uh, caterpillar in my home lab for culturing this caterpillar i just took took the container and that uh, i kept this caterpillar along with some phyllanthus leaves uh, once there were times that i was uh, i was not having enough phyllanthus leaves so uh, as suggested by some of the cubist i i gave the caterpillar uh, some pea, peas green peas and cabbage leaves to eat but uh, that was the biggest goof up of goof of goof up of mine uh, as after giving the green peas and cabbage leaves uh, the caterpillar died so uh, also that was the only caterpillar i was having so uh, i i should not have done the this ex, this kind of experiment with the caterpillar so uh, after that again i was in the practical examination of mine at that time we had this phyllanthus phyllanthus plant as a identification part so that time our lab assistant assistant has given the phyllanthus plants to all of us and in that phyllanthus plant i got Uh, again i got the same caterpillar so at that time i cultured that caterpillar in a container and i did not give any other leaves to uh, please for it to eat so uh, i cultured it with only giving phyllanthus urinaria leaves and um, on the left side on the right side uh, you can see the picture of the moth which was emerged from that caterpillar and uh, i have also identified its species and it is known as uh, spodoptera litura it is also known as tobacco cutworm so this was my story of uh, caterpillar and phyllanthus